is going up guys? It is Esteban from Exquisite Football. Today, we're doing the World Cup predictions. So in this paper, I have all the predictions, even the winner of the World Cup 2018. So let's get started, boys. So we have um, in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups. Eight groups with four, four teams in each one. I'm gonna tell you my predictions for the first place and second place of each group. For my first group, I think Uruguay is gonna be first place and Russia is gonna be second place. For group B, uh, I think Spain and Spain first and Portugal second. For group C, it's gonna be uh, France first place and Peru for second place. Then we got group D, uh, Argentina first and Croatia second. Group E, Brazil first, uh, Switzerland uh, second. Uh, group F, we have Germany and Mexico. Germany first, Mexico second. G, Belgium, England. H, Colombian, Polo uh, Poland. So, uh, as you can see, uh, there uh, I've chosen my my uh, first and second uh, for the for each team. Now with the final four, it's gonna be Portugal, Spain, Brazil, and Germany. And out of those, Spain is the winner. As you can see it, boom. So, I, so this concludes the winner of the World Cup, World Cup 2018. Now I'm gonna give you my prediction for uh, best, young, best youth player, best, uh, Goal scorer and goalkeeper. So I think it's going to be Marco Asensio at, for youth, and for goal scorer it's going to be Cristiano Ronaldo. And for best goalkeeper, hmm, this is a tough one. Um, between Keylor Navas, uh, Neuer, or David de Gea. So I'm going to go David de Gea for this one. So yeah, those are my, my predictions for World Cup 2018. All right guys, so now it's my turn to do my predictions, the final four, the winner of the World Cup, and those three awards, the best goal scorer, um, the best goalie, and then the best youth player. So I'll just do the awards right away, I guess. Yeah. So I'm gonna say the best goalie is gonna be Loris or De Gea, because Neuer's coming back from an injury, so I don't think he'll do very great, unless he can recover pretty well in this past year for it. Um, Golden Boot is gonna go to Eden Hazard, because I feel like on Belgium, he can carry the team pretty well. So I think either him or Dries Martins could get um, the Golden Boot or Lukaku. I think that Belgium's gonna do very good in this World Cup. And then for the best youth player, I'm gonna say Sam Mbappe or Ousmane Dembele if he's back in time to be ready for the World Cup. So it's gonna be either Ousmane Dembele, Mbappe for the Golden Boot. Um, for the best goalie, it's gonna be either Loris or De Gea. And for the top goal scorer, it's gonna be one of the three Belgian attackers. So now, I'm gonna get into who I think is gonna be first place and second place into each group. So in group A, Uruguay and Egypt, because Egypt has Mohamed Salah, and then Uruguay is kinda of obvious, they have Suarez and Cavani. Um, group B is Portugal, then uh, Spain, then Portugal, because um, Spain's probably a better team than Portugal, they're much more well-rounded. Um, for group C, I'm gonna say France and Denmark. Uh, group D, um, Argentina and Iceland. Group E, Brazil and Costa Rica. Group F, I'm split on. I mean, it's Germany and then these three teams are like all, they can all do really well because they all have like pretty good players, but it's between Mexico, Sweden, and Korea. Because Korea has Sun, you know, mm -hmm. on Spurs, plays pretty well. But I'll just say Mexico because, you know, I just want me to say that. Mm -hmm. um, group G, I'm gonna say Belgium and England. Those are the only two good teams in that group. And then Group H is Poland and Colombia. So those were my first place and second place teams for the groups. Now I'm gonna tell you my final four. Final four I think that are gonna make it are Belgium, France, well, if this is possible. Belgium, France, Germany, and Argentina. I don't think Spain will make it through just because they need better attacking. And they've got a solid defense, but they need better attacking. They won't score that many goals. Um, the winner of the World Cup, honestly, I'm thinking it's gonna be Belgium just because they have a lot of, it's either gonna be Belgium or France because Germany's kind of, their players are getting older and Belgium and France are uprising with their youth. So thank you guys for watching this little segment of my predictions and we'll see you guys later.